This was brought to you by Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous, on YouTube, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Franklin County Internet Society on Facebook. Historical world, armor and weapons developed in parallel in arms race with advances in defensive technology matched and offer often exceeded by advances in offensive technology. If you set your campaign in an earlier cultural period than the default assumption for the D&D game, you might want to limit access to certain weapons. Certain cultures in your campaign world may be limited to earlier technologies than the mainstream with stone age jungle dwellers being only the most obvious examples perhaps the barbarians of the frigid wastelands are limited to dark age ages technology while a 10,000 year old empire is stuck with the bronze age technology down to it by its deity rulers. Table 1 through 6 Weapons, Technology, and Culture shows what weapons are common during four pre, pre medieval hysterical historical eras. Stone Age cultures include the stereotypical jungle savages, as well as, for example, plains-dwelling tribes or Aztec-like empires. Bronze Age societies resemble the kingdoms and empires of the Classic Era and may be particularly useful for distributing cultures that worship the Olympian or pharaonic pantheons presented in deities and demigods. These cultures have little or no access to iron and remain at a marked disadvantage in warfare against iron-equipped enemies. Dark Age cultures include most barbarian or backwater cultures in a traditional D&D campaign. Marked by the invention of the stirrup, light armor, and re relatively simple weapons, the Crusades era represents the last period of technology development before the standard D&D framework. With the first flowering of the mounted knight, the introduction of the crossbow, and the appearance of plate armor. If the weapon isn't listed in Table 1 through 6, either it doesn't have a real world history, such as the orc double axe, or it wasn't prevalent during any of the pre-medieval historical eras such as the Rapier. Weapon Equivalence A claymore is a Zweihander is a no dachi a great sword by any other name would cut as deep Kill two guys, six points of slashing damage, threat range 19 to 20, weigh 15 pounds, and function as a large martial melee weapon. We could have filled this book with individual statistics for all the historical weapons whose names appear in Table 1 through 6. The Gladius 
the Paul War, the Cutlass, the Jambaya, and so on. The simple fact of the matter is, however, that the d, &D game doesn't really need more simple and martial weapons than it already has. The simple and martial weapons presented in the player's handbook cover all the necessary bases. Small, medium-sized, and large weapons that present the most common weapons found in both fantasy and historical sources represent a balance of damage values with criticals and special features and heal bludgeoning, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Adding more martial weapons such as a gladius distinct from the short sword creates a number of problems. First, what niche would the Gladius fill? It could be the 1 die 6 slash times 3 weapon, but we've already got the hand axe. It could deal 1 die 4 damage and threaten on 18 to 20, but that niche is filled by the Kukri, an exotic weapon. Exotic because it's tiny and unusually good for a weapon that size. In short, the bases are covered as far as small martial weapons go, and a fighter with proficiency in all of them doesn't really need more options. Even if you're designing an entire campaign around a culture different from the generic European flavor of the player's handbook, you probably don't need new martial weapons. You can use weapons equivalences instead. Oriental Adventures, for example, has only three new martial weapons. The Wakazashi is simply a mass or short sword like the Druses. The Nagamaki is statistically close to the Gisarm, but lighter, less expensive, and lacking both reach and trip capability. And the Naginata is almost identical to the blade. When D&D has much more room for innovation is in exotic weapons. Remember that exotic weapons in D&D doesn't mean originating in a foreign culture. It means weapons that require special training to use. Characters who use exotic weapons are spending a fee to learn how to wield them effectively, so exotic weapons generally offer some additional thing in exchange for that fee or buck. Table 1 through 6 Weapons, Technology, and Culture. Weapons name Axe Throwing Stone Age Slash Bronze Age C Dark Age C Crusades C Other Names Altar Francisca Celts Chi Ayanam Chi Ifu Chi Chi and Fu I Hong, Lao, China, Tongi, India, Masakari, Anu, Japan, Dao, Nathan, Chain Spike, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusade U, Club, Stone Age C, 
Bronze Age Sea, Dark Age Sea, Crusade Sea. Other names, Culture, Silva, Ireland, Mutin, Philippines. Weapons Name, Crossbow Aim, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusades U. Weapons Name, Crossbow Heavy, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusades U. No, Crusades C. Other name cultures, New China. Weapons name, Crossbow Light, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age, Dark Ages, U, Crusade, C, Other Names, Culture, New, China. Weapons name, Crossbow, Repeating. Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusades U. Weapons Name, Dag, Stone, Stone Age C, Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, Crusade C, Other Names, Culture, Jambia, Arabia, Wa, Burma, Scramas Axe, Silt, Piha, Cayeta, Celian, Bai, Chao, Dosu, China, Main, Gucci, Branch, France, Bitch, Wa, Conjurli, India, Toledo, Italy, Al Gucci, Kazuka, Tonto, Japan, Card, Pesh, Cobbs, Persia, Pugio, Rome, Skin Du, Scotland, Oswar, Switzerland, Mid, Thailand, Qatar, India. Dagger Punching Wait, Weapon Name Dagger Punching Stone Age Slash Bronze Age Slash Dark Age C Crusades C Qatar India or other names culture Qatar India Weapons Name Dark Stone Age C Bronze Age, C, Dark Age, C, Crusades, U. Other names, Culture, Uchini, Japan, Plumbatum, Rome. Weapons name, Flail, Light or Heavy. Stone Age, Slash, Bronze Age, U, Dark Age, Dark Ages, U, Crusades, C. Feltian, no, Weapons Name, Feltian, Stone Age, Slash, Bronze Age, Slash, Dark Age, U, Crusade, C. Weapons name. Quail Dyer. Stone Age slash Bronze Age slash Dark Age slash Crusade, U. Weapons name. Gauntlet. Stone Age slash Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, 
Crusade C, other names, Culture, Koki, or Coke, Japan, Cestus, Rome. Weapon name, Gauntlet, Spike. Stone Age slash Bronze Age C Dark Ages C Crusade C Other Names Culture Spike Cessus Rome Weapons Name Blade Stone Age Slash Bronze Age Slash Dark Ages Slash Crusade C, other names, Culture, Chan, Da Del, China, Koti, De Rich, Crawford, France. Weapons name, Great Ass, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, Crusade C. <clears throat> Weapons name Great Club. Stone Age slash Bronze Age C. Dark Ages C. Crusade C. Other names Culture. Tang Bang. China. Gata. India. Tetsubo. Japan. Dalwell, Burma, Flamberg, France, Swan Handler, Germany, Nodachi, Japan, Plate, Heman, Moore, Claymore, Scotland, Great Sword. Stone Age slash, Bronze Age slash, Dark Age slash, Crusades, you. That is actually what I just read out most of it, so I'm going to read it again. Darwin, Burma, Flamberg, France, Swapander, Germany, Nodachi, Japan, Blade, Heman, Moore, Claymore. Scotland. Weapon name Gosarm Stone Age slash Bronze Age slash Dark Ages slash Crusade C. Wan Dao China Kamayari Japan. Weapons name Holberg. Stone Age slash, Bronze Age slash, Dark Age slash, Crusade C, T, T, G, O, Q, Pi, G, U, China, Asento, Japan, Bardichi, Russia, Lockerbur, Ads, Deadbird as Scotland. Weapon name. Colburn. Stoneburn. No. Stone Age slash. Bronze Age slash. Dark Age slash. Crusade C. E. Oh yeah, I already said that, sorry. Weapons name Hammer of Light Stone Age slash Bronze Age slash Dark Age Ages slash No C Crusades C Weapon name Hand Axe Stone Age C Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusades C, other names, Culture, 
Pooch, Piso, Tonkin, Kabar, India, Kapak, Indonesia, Mahu, China, Nabyari, Japan, Palum, Rome. the wrong one, sorry. Okay, so weapons name Javelin Stone Age C Bronze Age C Dark Age C Crusade U Other names culture and this is the part where I need to read off what I was reading before. Mao, China, Nagyari, Japan, Falun, Rome, Jared, Turk. Weapons name Kama, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age U, Dark Age U, Crusade U. Other names, Falter, Leon, China, Fadik, Indonesia. Weapon name, Lance Heavy, Stone Age, Slash, Bronze Age, Slash, Dark Age, or Dark Ages, Slash, Crusade C. Other name, Falter, Uma Yari, Japan. Weapon name, Lance, Light, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C. Weapon name, Longbow, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C. Weapon name, Longbow. Composite, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Ages Slash, Crusade C, Daikuyu, Japan. Table 1 through 6 shows the dagger and common weapon in Stone Age cultures. Does this mean that the jungle tribes are frequently encountered wielding fine steel daggers? Of course not. Stone Age weapons are generally made of bone and stone, while Bronze Age weapons are usually made of bronze. The Dungeons and Dragons, dra the, the Dungeon Master's Guide gives some guidelines for such inferior weapons at the DM's option. These more comprehensive rules can supplement those presented there. Hit points for various weapon types are shown on table 1 through 7 low tech weapon hit points. Stone Age, as stated in the Dungeon Master's Guide, weapons made of bones or stone have a negative 2 attack and damage penalty with a minimum damage of 1. Bone has a hardness of 6 and 10 hit points per inch of thickness. Stone has a hardness of 8 and 15 hit points per, per inch of thickness. Bronze Age Weapons of Bronze Age, while clearly inferior, inferior to steel items, are not nearly as bad as stone or bone weapons. Their attack and damage penalty is only negative one rather than negative two. Bronze has a hardness of nine and twenty hit points per inch of thickness. Hafted weapons, that is, weapons with wooden shafts such as hafted spears, use the value shown on table A through three. Common weapon and shield handles 
handiness and hit points in the player, player's handbook. Special Weapon Materials The various planes of existence are exotic, otherworldly landscapes where, where often the fundamental elements of the universe may be drastically different than on the material plane. Extra planar weapons smiths use certain minerals from these planes, particularly the outer planes, to make weapons with special qualities. And these weapons sometimes find their way to the material world, like adamantine, mithril, and dark wood. These materials bestow special properties on the items forged from them with a particular benefit that these properties are not magical in nature and thus do not give away in an anti-mage anti feel. For example, Table 1 through 6, Weapons, Technology, and Culture, Continue. C equals common in this time period. U equals uncommon in this time period. Slash, not usually found in this time period. And 1. The Kirtana is a masterwork bastard sword. The Drossus is a masterwork gladius short sword. Weapon name Long Spear, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, Crusade C, Other Names Alter, Fresh Edge, Celts. Urkelts, Mau, Huang, China, All Sp Spice, German and Swiss, Sarisa, Greece, Limbing, Malaysia. Weapon name, Long Sword, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, Crusade C. John, to Keen, China, Gum, Korea, Spatha, Rome. Weapons name, Lucerne Hammer, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Ages Slash, Crusades Use. You. Other names, Culture, Effect, Deck. Corbin, France, Weapon Name, Mace, White or Heavy, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusades C, Other Names, Cultures, Sean, Tu, Bomb, China, Gata, Indonesia, Weapon Name, Net, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, Crusade C, Other Names, Culture, Jacobum, Roman, Weapon Name, Nantaku, Stone Age C, no, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age U, Dark Ages U, Crusades U. Weapon name, Hick, Light, Warhead. Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusade C, Other Names, Alter, Sognal, India. Weapon name 
quarter staff, Stone Age C, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C, other names, Coulter, Bang, Gun, China, Wafi, India, Toya, Indonesia, Boo, Raku Shakobu, Raku Shakubu, Japan, Bong, Korea. Weapon name, Francier, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusade Slash, other names, Coulter, Pethys, the Naya, Salian, Partisan, England, Corsica, Job, Soros, France, Lanka, Germany, Corsica, Spadum, uh, Italy. Weapon name, Scimitar, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Ages Comp C, Crusade C, other names, Coulter, Scythe, Arabia, Da, Burma, Custain, Ceylon, Dao, Da, on Do Do Nine Ring Sword China Adya Kati Talwar India Param Indonesia Kora Nepal Shamsher Persia Bolo Philippines Kalis Gatagan Turkey Cutlass, Saber, Early Modern Europe. Weapon Name, Scythe, or Scythe, Stone Age, Slash, Bronze Age, Slash, Dark Ages, C, Crusade, C. Weapon Name, Shortbow. Stone Age C, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C. Weapon Name, Short Bow Composite, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, Crusade C. Other Names, Culture, Gong, Yon, China, Yumi, Japan. Weapon name, Short Spear, Stone Age C, Bronze Age C, Dark Age C, Crusade C. Other names, Culture, Yari, Japan, Pasta, Rome. Weapon name, Singham. Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Ages U, Crusades U. Weapon Name, Sickle, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C. Weapon Name, Sling, Stone Age C, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusade Slash. Weapon Name, Sword, Bastard, Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age Slash, Dark Age Slash, Crusade Uncommon, U, Other Names, Wu, Dao, China, Kandar, India, Katana, 1, 
Hitachi, Japan, Ram, Dow, Naval, or Nepal. Weapon name, Sword, Shore. Stone Age Slash, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C. Other names, Vulture, Duan, Dawn, Dinah, Katzpolder, Germany, Teora, Safar, Takai, India, Chris, Hedang, Indonesia, Sanguedia, Italy, Italy, Dan, Song, Gong, Korea, Barong, Philippines, Drusus, One, Gladius, Rome. Weapon name, Trident. Stone Age slash Bronze Age C, Dark Ages slash Bruce Age C, other names, Culture, Sancha, Tiger, Lance, China, Magar, Magari, Yari, Japan, Fuxina, Rome. Weapon name, Warhammer, Stone Age slash Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C, other names, other names, Alter, Chewy, China, Dai, Suchi, Japan. Weapon name, Whip, Stone Age U, Bronze Age C, Dark Ages C, Crusade C, other names, Alter, Five, Bing, Fine, Time. The Atorian Green Steel. Deep in the mines of nine hells of Fatar, uh, veins of green fleck, fleck iron run through the rock. This rare metal, when allowed and distilled, can be used to create weapons of amazing sharpness. Any slashing or piercing weapon created with the terrain green steel has a natural enhancement bonus of plus one to damage. This bonus does not stack with any other enhancement bonus. Thus, a green steel plus one to damage longsword with a plus four enhancement bonus effectively has a plus four enhancement bonus on both attack and damage. In an area where the magic does not function, it still retains its natural plus one. Enhancement bonus on damage. A masterwork green still slashing or piercing weapon would have a plus one bonus on both attack and damage rows from a combination of masterwork and the green steel. Though green steel is a common component of keen weapons produced in the lower planes, it's granted no other special ability to such weapons. The market price modifiers for such a weapon is plus 2,000 gold pieces. Victorian green still has a hardness of 12 and 30 hit points per inch of thickness. Table 1-7 Low Tech Weapon Hit Points Weapon Tiny Blade Example Dagger Bone HP Hardness 6 1 Stone HP Hardness 8 1 Bronze HP Hardness 9 1 Weapon Small Blade Example Short Sword Bone HP Hardness 6 1 Stone HP Hardness 8 1 
front HP hardness 9, 1. Weapon, medium sized blade. Example, longsword. Bone HP hardness 6, 2. Stone HP hardness 8, 3. Bronze HP hardness 9, 4. Weapon Large Blade Example Bracelet Bone HP Hardness 6 3 Stone HP Hardness 8 5 Bronze HP Hardness 9 7 Weapon Small Metal Hafted weapon. Example. Life names. Bone HP hardness 6 slash. Stone HP hardness 8 slash. Bronze HP hardness 9. 7. Weapon. Medium sized metal hafted weapon. Example. Heavy mace. Bone HP hardness 6 slash Stone HP hardness 8 slash Bronze HP hardness 9 6 Grahinen Morgut Iron This volcanic mineral is unique to the steep mountains of the bleak eternity of Gehenna where it is occasionally mined by natural evil fiends called Yugoloths and other creatures on that forbidden plane. It forges poorly, making weapons that appear poked and pitted and have a negative one attack and damage penalty. Now, I, however, Mark Marhood Iron is extremely toxic, rapidly poisoning the blood. A slashing or piercing weapon made with Gehenna Morbuf iron is naturally poisonous. The weapon delivers its poison fortitude save DC 12 from each successful attack. The initial damage is one point of temporary dexterity. The second damage is one die four points of temporary dexterity. The market price modifier for a weapon made of Morpeth iron is plus 4,000 gold piece. Gahinan Morgoth Thorin Morgoth Iron has a hardness of 9 and 20 hit points for per inch of thickness. Solonian True Steel, mined on the fourth layer of the seven mount mounting heavens of Celestia. This fine iron needs no alloy and shines with a silvery gleam. When forged into a weapon, it gives the wielder a plus one bonus on the confirmation roll for a critical hit. The market price modifier fire for such a weapon is a plus 1,000 gold point. Solanian True Steel has a hardness of 11 and 25 hit points per inch of thickness. New armor types. The new varieties of armor described below supplement those described in Chapter 7 of the Player's Handbook. Many use unusual raw materials because armor smiths tend to work with whatever they have. Man. Elves and druids lock deep in primeval Primeval forces, for example, find, find refined metals, metal in rare commodities. Surrounded by 
plants and magic. However, some elven smiths craft wonders out of their everyday environment. Armor Description Bark This armor is carefully crafted from the tough bark of ancient trees and is treated to prevent it from becoming a brittle over time. Strips of bark are layered together over a quilted layer of felt or hide. Bark armor is more flexible than wooden armor but does not provide as much protection. Druids can wear bark armor without losing access to their spells and class features and class features. Bark armor includes arm, leg, chest, and back protection, but it does not include gauntlets. Bond leaf wrap. Bond leaf wraps are each crafted from a single enormous leaf found on magical trees. A bond leaf wrap is inactive until worn for 24 hours. During this time, it grows into the skin, drawing water and nutrients from its host. Afterward, as a standard action, you can command it to wrap around your body. Bone. Bone armor is a cloth or leather coat reinforced with strips of bone, often cut from animals used for food. The armor covers the torso but leaves the limbs free for better mobility. Brigandine Brigandine armor consists of a coat of leather plates. Each plate consisting of leather with a strip of steel inside it. It is essentially a life form of splint maul from elf. Buckler Beetle. This buckler is actually a, a tiny scarab beetle that latches onto the forearm. You must wear the beetle for a full day before the beetle booklet confers any bonus to armor class. Once it's attuned to its wear, the beetle buckler is effectively a master work buckler with a non-magical plus one enhancement bonus to armor class. With a command word, you can detach the beetle. Then the beetle takes wing darting around you, around your body, and blocking range attacks as the, the deflect arrow speed. But using the beetle's reflex have saved bonuses. But using the beetle's reflex save bonus not to wrong. The beetle cannot be ordered to attack, but it defends itself if attacked. Table 1A New Armor Light Armor Bark Cost the 5 gold pieces. Armor Bonus plus 2 Max dex bonus plus 5, armor check penalty, negative 2, arcane spell failure, 15%, speed 30 feet through 20 feet, 30 feet, dash 20 feet, weight 15 pounds, armor. Bond leaf wrap cost 1,000 gold piece. Armor bonus plus one. 
Max Dex bonus slash armor check penalty slash arcane spell failure slash speed 30 feet slash 20 feet weight 2 pounds. Armor bone cost 20 gold piece. Armor bonus plus 3 dex max dex bonus plus 4. Armor check penalty, negative 3. Arcane spell failure, 15%. Speed, 30 feet slash 20 feet. Weight, 20 pounds. Armor cord, cost 15 gold pieces. Armor bonus, plus 2. Max dex bonus plus 5, armor check penalty negative 1, arcane spell failure 5%, speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, weight 15 pounds. Armor leather scale cost 35 gold pieces. Bonus, armor bonus plus three, max dex bonus plus six, armor check penalty plus zero, arcane spell failure ten percent, speed thirty feet slash twenty feet, weight five pounds. 20 pounds, yeah. Okay, armor, moon high, cost 16,000 gold pieces, armor, bonus, plus 4, max dex, plus 6, armor check, penalty, plus 0, arcane spell, failure, 10%, speed, 30 feet, slash 20, Weight five pounds. Weapon or armor wicker cost one gold piece. Armor bonus plus one. Max dex bonus plus five. Armor check penalty plus zero. Arcane spell failure ten percent. Speed. 30 feet slash 20 feet, weight 5 pounds. Armor, wood, cost 15 gold pieces. Armor bonus plus 3, max dex bonus plus 4. Armor check penalty, negative 3. Arcane spell failure, 15%. Speed 30 feet slash 20 feet, weight 15 pounds. Armor, medium armor. Brigadon. Cost 30 gold pieces. Armor bonus plus 4. Max dex bonus plus 2. Armor check penalty negative 5. Arcane spell failure 30%. Speed 20 feet slash 15 per feet. Weight 40 pounds. Armor Lamler cost. 150 gold pieces, armor bonus plus 5, max dex bonus plus 3, armor check penalty negative 4, arcane spell failure 30%, speed 20 feet slash 20, oh, 20 feet slash 15 feet, weight 35 Armor, ring, cost 75 gold pieces. Armor bonus, plus 4. Max dex bonus, plus 4.
armor check penalty negative three arcane spell failure 30 percent speed 20 feet slash 15 feet weight 35 pounds armor shell cost 25 gold pieces armor bonus plus three max dex bonus plus three armor check penalty negative two arcane spell failure 20 percent speed 20 feet slash 15 feet weight 20 pounds armor heavy armor coral Four. Cost 225 gold pieces, armor bonus plus 6, max dex bonus plus 1, armor check penalty negative 7, arcane spell failure 30%, speed 20 feet slash 15 feet, weight 40 pounds. Armor, dent, dendritic, price, 2,000 gold pieces, armor gold bonus, plus 9, max dex bonus, plus 0, armor check penalty, negative 8, arcane spell failure, 40%, Speed 20 feet slash 15 feet 1 weight 60 pounds armor stone dwarven cost 1750 gold pieces armor bonus plus 9 max dex bonus plus 0 armor check penalty negative 7 Arcane spell failure 40%, speed 20 feet slash 15 feet, weight 80 pounds. Armor, shields, buckler, beetle, price 6,600 gold pieces. Armor bonus plus 2, max dex bonus slash armor check. Penalty, negative 1, arcane spell failure, 5%, speed, slash, weight, 5 pounds. Armor, Destana, cost 25 gold pieces, armor bonus, plus 1, De max dex bonus, Slash armor check penalty negative one arcane spell failure five percent speed slash weight five pounds armor shield stiletto cost thirty gold pieces armor bonus plus one max dex bonus slash Armor check penalty negative one. Arcane spell failure five percent. Speed slash weight ten pounds. Armor extra for extras. Quick escape cost three plus three hundred gold pieces. Armor bonus slash max. Dex bonus slash armor check penalty slash arcane spell failure slash speed slash weight plus two pounds. Beetle buckler CR one no half tiny vermin HD one D eight HP four Initiation plus 6 speed, 10 feet, fly, 40 feet, good, 
AC-24, Dutch-18, Flat-Footed-18. Attack, negative 3, melee, 1 die 3, negative 5, fight. Face, reach, 2, half foot, 5, 2, half foot, 0 foot. SQ deflect arrows Berman traits AL and SV four plus two ref plus six will plus zero strength one dex twenty three content intelligence slash wisdom ten Char uh, charisma 2 skills and feats hide plus 14 listen plus 4 move silently plus 10 spot plus 4 deflect arrows X when detached from its shield position a beetle butler dog Buffler darts about in its owner's space, blocking one range attack per round as the deflect arrow's feet. Vermin traits. Immune to all mind influencing effects. Dark vision 60 feet. Coral. Commonly worn by war warriors of seafaring races such as merfolk and tritons. Coral armor is not so much created as grown. Exotic and rare corals are shaped over time to create armor for a specific person. Someone wearing coral armor that was not grown for them takes an additional negative one armor check penalty. Coral armor covers only the top half of the wear, breastplate and braces. Swim speed is reduced by 10 feet when wearing coral armor. However, because of its design, coral armor effectively weighs 10 pounds less in water. Growing coral armor requires the craft coral shaving skill. Cord. Fibers of hemp or other natural materials woven and knotted into a thick tough fabric are the basis for core arm, cord armor. The armor forms a complete suit, hampering movement but offering decent protection without the use of metal or leather. Cord armor is particularly popular among wild elves who often avoid curing animal hide. The stana, the pair this pair of metal bracers can be worn in addition to some other types of armor to, for, to provide an additional armor bonus that stacks with both the foundation armor and any shield worn. You can wear this thana with padded leather or chain shirt armor. You need the armor proficiency light to wear this thana without penalty. Dendritic Dwarven armorsmiths grow dendritic armor from sea crystals deep underground. Dendritic armor never reaches the smith's fire. Each suit of dendritic armor is tailored for a specific wearer. This superb armor is socketed rather than riveted together, leaving almost no gaps or chinks. It protects better than full plate armor, but is also heavier and more cumbersome. 
Dendritic armor constantly grinds crystal flex off and regrows itself to its original shape. Anyone tracking a person wearing dendritic armor gains a plus two circumstances bonus on skill checks for the fine trail of crystals left behind. To remove the dendritic armor, you must break your way out by success succeeding at a strength check, DC 25. As long as you leave at least five pounds of dendritic armor somewhere on your body, the armor grows back in eight hours. Lamellar, similar to sprint and brigadine armor, Lamellar lies between the two in protective value. It consists of small overlapping plates of metal sewn together or stitched to a backing of leather or clothing. This was brought to you by Roger Hansen, Gaming with Infamous, on YouTube, Patreon, and Anchor. We are on Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on Facebook too. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.